gravitational exposure of spherical madness. What a great name for a video, albeit a short video. Just going to talk about gravity today based on something that came up in my feed this morning, pushed by YouTube. Now, when I discuss gravity, I simply mean the direction in which things fall. To deny that would be insane, okay? So I do not deny gravity, okay? In fact, I love gravity. If you wanted me to explain what's going on there, I couldn't do that. No one can. You'd have to fully explore the realm, the mechanism which we find ourselves to have a better understanding of the cause, effect, or whatever is going on regarding gravity. But in the meantime, I stand by demonstrable science, which most of you know, and gravity is part of that. It's part of our reality. But where people go wrong is they deny it. And what you're doing there, because you've got to remember, you're dealing with a general public here that aren't in the fittest shape of mind, mentally. The sermon is not the order of the day. So to deny gravity, which we can, we can all observe, there is a directional vector. So to deny, to deny it to people who are new to this subject really isn't doing yourself any favours or the subject any favours. You should be welcoming, welcoming gravity with open arms. I, like I say, I love it because it highlights how silly the globe is. I don't know why people have got it all wrong regarding this subject. Stop denying it. Welcome it. It proves the globe's ridiculous. It's their one crutch they cling on to. Yet when you highlight a couple of practical references, it highlights how silly the globe is using gravity. And this is what came up in my feed. Gravity. Flurfs can't touch this. I'm not a flurf. I'm a demonstrable realist, which just makes life easy for myself because I can't be refuted. And of course, the things I stand by, gravity as well, prove the globe scientifically impossible because gravity can be overcome by a gentle breeze. So it can't hold tower cranes upside down on a spinning ball, one that's doing ludicrous speeds in four different directions, if it can be overcome by a gentle breeze, can it? That's just a demonstrable fact. So why deny the downward vector and make yourself and the subject matter look silly when really you should be welcoming it with open arms, manipulate the situation and use gravity to highlight how silly the globe is. I've noticed since I've been using this angle, people keep denying the fact that I'm welcoming gravity with open arms, trying to misrepresent me, saying I'm denying it. I'm a tower crane operator. Of course I don't deny the downward vector. I wouldn't have a job without it. <laughs> Crazy. As time goes on, more and more people expose themselves, whether it be their dishonesty or their lack of education or logic or whatever. It's, it's, it's crazy to see. It really is. I say education. It seems like the educational system just turns people into fucking stale bits of bread. Crazy. Like I said, don't deny gravity. Welcome it with open arms and highlight the fact the globe is scientifically impossible because of gravity. Have a good one, everyone.